Teens today have done something absolutely amazing. They have demanded that we talk about mental health. And it's because of them that I am here. What's up y'all? My name is Brittany Richmond and I am a teen mental health speaker and anxiety expert. When I first walk out on stage, I wanna come out on fire. I want to bring all of the energy and connect with them right away. I want them to feel like it's just me and them having a conversation. I wanna match their energy and create this emotional experience. And I am so grateful that I've had so many opportunities to travel across the country at different conferences, large student groups, summits, organizations, and share my story on what it means to become an overcomer. In my signature keynote, I share real relatable stories for them to connect with. My ultimate goal here is to let them know that they are not alone and that there is hope and they have value. When I was young and a teenager living with anxiety, I had always felt that if somebody were to just stand in front of me and tell me that they understood how I was feeling and they have gone through the same things I felt like I was going through and saying the words like, hey, me too. I really feel like that would have made all the difference for me. I think that's why it's extra important for me to be able to open that door of connection and conversation that feels non-intrusive and can be very healing for these teenagers because that's what I see. You know, there's a lot of negative self-talk and there's a lot of things, that, the reasons why we don't talk to people, we don't talk about mental health, but they want to talk about it, right? So if they want to talk about it, I want to make sure they have the tools and the resources to do that, to open that door. If anything you heard today resonates with you, I would love to have a conversation as to how I can help bring this message and serve your teens. I once had a conversation with an administrator and they had told me that some of their students couldn't even make it through the front door of school. Their anxiety was just so bad. And uh, that was a real moment for me because I know what that feels like. When we have the conversations around how to cope with anxiety, we often hear people talk about the in the moments, very reactive solutions like grounding, deep breathing, cold compresses. Yes, all of which are super important and serve a purpose. However, I am more interested in the proactive solutions. What can we do every single day when we feel well to help keep us well? They wanna talk about it, so let's start talking. I look forward to having that conversation with you and with them.